What's poppin' everybody? Yeah. What's going on, family? Welcome to episode number two of the Anything and Everything podcast. I'm your host. I'm your guy. I'm your girl. I'm your you. I'm you. I'm Scott Vlad. Welcome to the channel. That's the name of the channel. This is the Anything and Everything podcast, like I already said. But you know, we gotta say it again because it's anything and everything. Mm. So, how's it going? I'm doing cool. I'm doing really good. I'm doing good. I wasn't always doing good, though. But I'm doing good today. And that's all that matters. We're going to continue up with this good momentum, this good flow, this this good, good stuff. As long as you're doing well, though, that's that's all that matters, too, though, right? <clears throat> I'm, uh... I'm sending you all everything you truly desire, whether it's uh, whether it's peace, whether it's prosperity and wealth, not just riches or money, but prosperity, wealth, finances, all that good stuff. So take it all, embrace it all, embody it all. That's my dad calling my phone, so I gotta hang it up. But I got an announcement. First of all, we're gonna start off with the announcement. I'm bald as fuck. Bald as fuck. I'm bald as fuck. So we're gonna go into the story of how I ended up bald from my dreams of having a man bun. Okay, so let's start off with my dreams as a little boy. All I ever wanted was a mun, a man bun. No, ever since like I was, uh, I mean probably. Like, 14 just starting high school i was like yo i want a man bun i never ended up doing though it always came to the phase where it was almost a little long not bunny enough and i would cut it and then i'd be like oh, i do want a man bun so then finally after uh the first uh lockdowns last year i was like you know what i'm growing it out it's getting long as fuck i'm gonna grow it out and that's what happened right it was like a old justin bieber type flippy flippy floppy hair so i ended up uh Growing it out. And then a f- week ago, I, uh, I've been going through some emotions, some anger. The old Scott's coming out. It's like, yo, you need to pay attention to me. And uh, so I started getting angry again. And then I was like, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to cut it. And then I got the scissors and I cut it. It was pretty cool. It was pretty long still. And then uh, I ended up being like nah you know i'm gonna go all david goggins type hard i'm gonna get hard and shit that didn't sound right but i'm gonna stay hard and i'm gonna fucking get ripped more i was ripped as i am now i want to get even more ripped i need healthier and fucking eat better and uh that's how it happened so then my dad brought over uh the razors and uh here we are it's kind of cool i've gotten used to it it's been like a few days it's grown on me it's easier to maintain more than fucking man bun like i was doing like my shampoo, my conditioner, most days, um, and, like, it took forever to dry, even in the towel, and then you got blow dry for 10 minutes, and, uh, it was good, it was an amazing experience, and then when I cut it, now I feel super free, I was tanning yesterday, and it's a little burnt, I'm a little burnt, not as much as I was a few weeks ago, but I got sun, I got enough healing energy from the sun to do me for a good few days, and it's perfect, and, uh, that's when it comes down like anger. It's like shit that comes up from the past. It's like it's the old Scott. It's the old me. It's coming back up. I just try and like find what what's pulling me back in the old ways. And then I started smoking cigarettes again for like a week. I keep saying I was going to quit. I quit yesterday. Yesterday was my last day. It's hard, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm women. Man, women. <laughs> it's, uh, it's because like... Some things you just get so like down, you get like a dark night of the soul, you get depressed and go into these phases and I'm like, I don't like them, but I need to. It's like facing my inner demons. It's also bringing me with the dark so I can fucking shoot up like a trampoline into the light, baby. I can start um, being happy again, you know, especially with this weather. But I don't want to let the weather be the, the dictator of how my mood is. I mean, yes, obviously, uh, the sun has a beneficial aspect of, of boosting your not only just your immune system, but your mood. A nice tan on the skin. And it helps with my acne, 100%. Like, I, I have acne on my body and my face. And when I get burnt, oh, it smooths and nice and smooth, baby. And uh, that's kind of that. You know, like, when the anger comes back up or these certain things, like the smoking cigarettes, it's like, well, what brought me into it? Is it the fact that I'm not doing shit? 
I'm not working, but I have been applying for a job for remote jobs because if you know my beliefs, I don't want to wear a mask. I believe it's wrong. I'm out here in Canada, so it's mandated. I don't wear them. I don't go to many places and I'm medically exempt. I put that because I medically exempted myself because they make you sicker. Masks don't work whether or not you want to believe it or not. It's facts. It's proven. And uh, I just don't, that's not how I want to express myself. You know, I'm going to stand up for my freedom, stand up for my sovereignty. And uh, yeah, it, uh, that's why I haven't gone to a job. I haven't worked a job. Well, mainly because I took the last year because I wanted to find more of myself. And I have. I'll be honest. Even though I have, like, in my in my negative states, I'm like, no, you haven't fucking found yourself. You haven't changed, you little bitch. No, I have. I have changed myself 100%. I've noticed it. I don't fucking chase a high as much. You know, like, I stopped smoking weed, too, a few days ago. Because there's a certain point where you just got to stop doing certain things it, it, so you can go to the next level you can grow you can evolve you can uh there's the 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 negative benefits outweigh the positive benefits that's all i'm saying and uh it's different for everybody though right now i just want to live fully sober no intoxicants no cigarettes no uh alcohol and whatever else not even fucking like antidepressants i don't want to go on prescriptions even though i might have to for my divergent peace bond thing for not going to jail for 90 days but there's a way out of it i trust it i have faith in the universe that it's gonna happen like not gonna happen it i i won't take meds and i'm gonna be perfectly fine i'm gonna start being who i really want to be and uh that's kind of like the whole thing like pulling you back in your old ways just let it take you and see what you need to learn and i realize like when it comes to finding lessons in everything don't look for fucking lessons in everything and use discernment you trust your intuition and don't listen to anybody else I mean, yes, you can take valid opinions, but, like, ultimately trust yourself. So, like, when it comes to, uh, do you hear my stomach? I haven't eaten. It's been about 16 hours now. My fast is almost over. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? No, like, I don't know. It's just, like, we know ourselves the best. We know ourselves the best. So, when it comes to anything, trust yourself. And when it comes to a job, I'm looking at remote jobs. That's what I was on Indeed. Looking for remote jobs that I can work from home. And then I can still do shit like this. I don't have, like, travel time. I don't have to wear a mask for eight hours a day because they don't want it, because they don't work, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I uh, can still make money until I find out more of what I truly desire in the way of finance, in the way of, like, business. Because I want to open a business. I want to be an entrepreneur in some aspect I want to be self-employed, and I want to help humanity in some way or another. I just don't know how right now. I ain't in a rush. That's what I'm trying to say. People, like, even, like, when you watch videos of, like, this fucking fake-ass demic thing that's going on, um, you see, it's like, it's the end. It's, uh, it's not everybody's gonna make it. It's like, fuck you saying. It's like, no, like, it's like, I'm gonna do what I want. I, I'm not in a rush. I'm fucking 22. I ain't just gonna die now. It's not, the world's not over. Like, yes, maybe the old world is over, whatever you want to, like, but it's like, fuck, man, like, I can do any shit I want. I'm 22. I ain't even 23 yet. And uh, 11, 11. And um, I can uh, still, I still have the rest of my damn life. I'm 22. I'm, I'm eating fucking healthier. Speaking of eating healthier, I'm eating meat again. I was vegan, plant-based for a while. Vegetarian, vegan. But I've been going through some like medical issues with my like, like kind of like adrenal fatigue and shit like that. Now I'm not saying I can't work on a vegan diet like that, but being on eating a little bit of meat and still trying to eat as much organic as I can until I start bringing in like 2500 a month from this a uh, remote job when I get it that's like I don't need no big fucking extravagant life though at the same time right it's like I just need like uh, a motorcycle I fucking love a motorcycle like I've been seeing them everywhere people are starting to ride them again I'm seeing them parked I'm seeing them driving and like it's I want it that's what I'm saying I'm getting one before the end of this year when it's still hot when i can still ride in the sunset and uh just have fun on a bike i don't care if it's 250 cc i don't care if it's 500 cc 750 thousand whatever uh sports bike probably or a cruiser i mean sports bike would be cool though cheapest on insurance and just enough you know like i can get one for like almost like fucking 1500 2000 max on like a kijiji or facebook marketplace and then insurance i think last time i had it it'd probably be like 100 150 a month so if i'm making like 2500 a month that's all i'm saying i still have time for my passions i still have time 
to figure out what I really want. I still have time to meditate or go for runs or, or get my strength training and ride my damn motorcycle, go get some food, go hang out with a friend or two, you know, stuff like that. Cut with my kitties. That's all that, that I need right now in my life. You know, I'm not asking for no, like, I need a 10 bedroom house with a greenhouse garden. No, I can just have a regular garden in my backyard right now until I move out of my mom's house. But there's nothing wrong with that. I'm grateful for it. I'm where I'm at for a reason. So I'm going to take what it is, be grateful for it, and still have a vision, have some dreams, have some desires, and uh, do what I need to get those, right? And if that means working a job right now, as long as I'm growing physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, uh, financially, through an income source, that's an at-home job, then that's perfectly fine, you know? And then I can always go from there. It doesn't mean nothing permanent. That's just the only constant is change. So everything's changing. So why not change with it, right? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And uh, just do what you want, you know? Like, sometimes we have to take sacrifices for, like, it's like a fucking job. There's nothing wrong with the job, man. You know, it's not like you're you're trapped in the matrix, man. You gotta get out at 11-11 on the camera. You're trapped in the matrix, man. You're you're not gonna get out if you're working a 9-to-5 job. There's no stable security, and there's no job security in that. It's like, no, the, yeah, that's true. Okay, honestly, it's true. Maybe nothing's really a job security anymore. Um, but I can still do what the fuck I wanna. I'm, I'm versatile. I can uh, adapt to any situation. So it's like, yes, there's certain things where it's like you don't want to keep grinding and grinding and the, the 9 to 5 grind and working your whole life doing that shit. No, that's obviously not my fucking dream. That's not my desires. But at the same time, I need an income. I'm tired of fucking relying on my mom to be able to pay for certain things for me. And um, I can do it myself. If I'm fucking working five days a week, 40, 44 hours, whatever. I still got a lot of time on myself. I'll feel more complete, more fulfilled, more uh, successful because I'm making my own money. That's all that matters. And as long as the job's not like something I ain't gonna pre- that I ain't really truly preaching, then that's cool. You know, as long as there's some purpose in it and there's purpose in everything. So I'm going to do it. And then who knows? I might get a business idea two months down the road. And I'm like, damn, I'm going to take action on that. Now I have money for it. And I bet, 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 whatever else I need. And, uh. It just fucking happens, right? That's all it is. It's not but like taking risks where it's like, well, oh, you quit your job now you can't go back. Now you're never going to get a job. You have to own that business right away. It's like, no, I'm not in a fucking rush. Yes, I like to get shit done. Uh, but at the same time, I'm patient. You know, so I'm not trying to fucking become the richest dude tomorrow. I don't need to be the richest dude as long as I have some wealth, maybe even generational wealth. Um, but I have patience. I have purpose in my life, fulfillment, success, these qualities that I need to feel like happiness even like i ain't gonna be happy even if i'm rich right now you know it's like as long as i have some money coming in i'm always working on myself i'm helping other people work on themselves and i'm growing evolving expanding my mind my consciousness my mindset my uh, bank account <laughs> you know anything as long as i'm getting out of there and i'm uh doing some things i'm passionate about every day and I go for runs every day. That's my new fitness regime. I plan on going for uh, like six kilometer runs most days. Some days eight, some days ten. I'm pushing my limits. I'm pushing my limits. I'm going hard, you know. And then strength training three, four times a week. And uh, eating good, living good, focusing on my mind, my mental well-being. Because that's all that matters. How am I going to be happy or like not depressed or even like all this shit? If I was rich, if I'm like sad, lonely, depressed, you know, it's like I got to get through. I got to face my inner demons, look at them in the face and then start making out with them. My demons, <laughs> then my angels, we're kissing too. We're having like a fucking metaphysical orgy and uh, and then we're all cool with each other, right? We're just chilling there. If we were smoking, we'd pass a joint, but I don't smoke anymore. Maybe they do though, you know, and uh <laughs> Then we just get <laughs> we get cool together, and then we help each other. You know, that's all I'm saying. Metaphysical orgy. I like that. It's kind of creepy and weird, but I like it. I like it. This is ASMR. Metaphysical orgy. Ah. Um. Yeah. Honestly, this is episode number two. I'm just randomly like going off. I wrote some stuff down on my word document thing basically talked it all over sun tanning that was the first thing i put on the sun tanning um or sun kissed is that like i love my food being sun kissed whether it's grown in the sun or whether it's just 
in the sun and I'm in the sun. I was uh, with my family yesterday. My sister came over. Or the day before, she came over for a little bit. I live with my mom, right? So I just came over yesterday for Easter. It was nice. It was super nice. And uh, we chilled in the sun most of the day. I get my short shorts. I pull them up just so they're like almost below my dick. No shirt on, no hat on, whatever. And I tan. Just get that sun. Get that sun kissing me. Let me play football for a little bit. We ate some good food. Um, play some board games. We said fun, you know that, that. Like, it's like just because we don't even have the same beliefs, we don't like get along in certain areas. It's like no, we had a good time. We uh, we let go of all that shit. We just had fun, like genuine fun, and just like we're with each other, spending time with each other, and that's exactly what we need. United, unitions. It's not weird, but. Like, we, we need to unite with our family members, with our friends, and just enjoy. Be aware of whatever we need to be aware of, but also have fun. And it doesn't mean be reckless, like, get fucking blackout drunk and snort some cocaine or whatever. It's like, no, I ain't doing that. Fun's different. Fun's just enjoying it, being present with what's going on, listening and observing and then speaking and just letting it flow, laughing. I laughed a lot yesterday, and that helps. <laughs> <laughs> laughing helps it's laughter is medicine it can be yes but don't like rely on laughter but laughing is fun it's good enjoy hi stanley hi stan <laughs> that's stanley he's uh an orange cat kind of like garfield I took him out back too. Him and his brother, Phil. Philip's like the alley cat. So when I used to take him out last year, he used to like go up and down our back complex alley and just chill, say hi to neighbors and whatnot. But then when it, uh, he got fucking caught up a tree. He got up the biggest tree. We have trees all behind our house, except in front of my house. My house is the only one that it got struck by lightning a few, like years ago. And then it got cut down. So I get full sun in my backyard when it comes past the house in the afternoon. Nobody else does it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Unless they're in the front the complex but um the, the, my cat philip he went up the biggest fucking tree there was in the backyard with no branches so we had to get our neighbor's ladder last summer because he was a plumber at the time or whatever and uh get the biggest fucking ladder and i had to climb up i was like 20 30 feet in the tree and then i finally got him down i was like come on seriously dude he's like like he was meowing to the whole fucking neighbor like like the most annoying meow. It's cute, but I was like, "You feel so bad." You're like, oh, fill up. He got. How am I gonna get down? He's gonna die up there. And we got him down though. But now I just let him in the backyard. And he'll run for the fence. And he'll try. He'll look at the birds and he'll fucking book it when I'm not looking or whatever. I just don't want him to climb a tree because then we don't have a ladder this time. Um, and then Phil or Stanley back there, he uh, just chills in the sun for the most part. He roams a little bit. He comes meows at me a little bit, and it's adorable. You know, cat, cats are beautiful we have a dog daisy too she's a shit soup poodle but uh she's getting old she's like 13 some shit like that stanley's five philip's four around and uh i need to start spending more time with them i'll be honest like i spend time with them they cuddle with me at night or in the day or whenever sit on the bed like that when i'm working on my desk or whatever but you can tell they want more attention and i gotta give it to them and that's it. I gotta give. Them. They're cute. Cats are adorable, man. I wanna. I wanna take them on road trips or shit. They're frady cats, so. But I wanna. I wanna just have fun with cats. You know, that's all I'm saying. Cats are cool. Humans are cool, but cats and dogs are, are better. My dad's getting a Saint Bernard puppy too. It was like a. What was it? A week old, like a week. A week. So it's probably like two weeks old now. Um, at the breeders or whatever. So, he's going to pick it up in, like, a month or something. It's going to be cute, though. He used to have a Bernese and a St. Bernard. Um, but he doesn't have any more. But now he's going to have another St. Bernard puppy. And it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. So cute. But, yeah. This is going to be a short episode. I'm going to end it here. I'm just chilling. I want to get out in the sun more. Chill. Eat. Because I haven't eaten yet. I'm fucking hungry. Thank you for tuning in, though. It's amazing. It's amazing you tuned in. Uh, I'd love to hear anything you have to say in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Scott Vlad. This is the Anything and Everything podcast. So if you want me to talk about anything and everything, pop that shit down below in the comments. And uh, I'll talk about it, you know? Thank you once again. Ah, Phil! I'm Scott Vlad. Peace.